Today we are going to learn how to make this cute, adorable, bunny ear teether for babies of all ages. All you're going to need are just a few simple ID tape measure, wooden ring, 3mm cord, scissors, and a crochet hook to weave in the ends. Let's get started. First we are going to take our cord and measure 60 inches. Once you have your 60 inches, go ahead and cut it. Then we are going to attach using a lark's head knot. So once you have your 60 inches, go ahead, fold it in half, and leave about six inches. So it's not completely folded in half, you're going ahead and leaving six inches on one side. Then you're just going to go ahead and attach it using a lark's head knot. You will want to do this three more times. Okay. Once you have your four Lark's head knots, you are ready to begin doing the square knots. So as you can see, here down at the bottom, the two inside pieces are shorter. Why I do this is to save macrame cord. So these are about six inches shorter than the outside pieces. Because the reason I do this is when you square knot, you aren't even using the middle pieces. You're only using the outside pieces. So the outside pieces, which you will use to square knot, need to be longer than the inside pieces. So we're going to go ahead and do 20 square knots. And you're going to want to do them on both sides so 20 knots now have our 20 knots on both sides thought I would go ahead and show you what it looks like now here's our inside pieces that we just macramed around and here's the outside pieces they're about six inches long which is perfect so now what you're gonna do is a little complicated a little tricky to do this part but bear with me so we're going to twist these in pick it up so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to work one side at a time. So what we're trying to do is attach it onto here. So we go ahead and take these two, loop them through using our outside piece here. We're going to go up and over these two that we just put through and it may take a little bit to just work it and try to figure out what works best for you so now that we have that through I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and tie a very very tight knot and tie another knot just to doubly secure it. So again, loop these through. Loop them through and I'm making sure everything's super tight. Take the outside piece. pull it out just a little bit so I can stick it through what we are doing is creating the appearance of Lark's head knots right here that's what we we're trying to do as t as well as tie it in okay so we have that through so I'm just pulling everything tight scooching the ears a little bit closer together go ahead flip and tie it again. Very, very tight. And we have one bunny ear. So all we do is repeat the same, repeat the same process on the other side of our ear. 
but I first like, like to go ahead and weave in the end. So let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and take your trusty crochet hook. And I like to go through the closest knots here. So I'm going to attempt to get this through. It's very tight, which is good, which is what you want. But this part makes it a lot harder. There we go. So now we're just weaving in our ends, loop it through. Okay. As you see, go ahead and keep going. Just finished weaving our fourth string through. And this is what it will look like. So now I am going to cut these ends. Go ahead and just trim it a little bit more. Okay. So that's what the back will look like. All you have to do Repeat one more time. So now you have a bunny ear teether. And you can adjust these. You can make these as long, as big as you want. You can do any colors, but that's how I do mine. Thank you guys so much for watching my video all the way through. And if you're here, that's awesome. Put a thumbs up to let me know if you watched all the way through. I really appreciate your support and it would mean so much to me if you guys would let me know how you like this video, if you want to give it a thumbs up, um, share with anyone. We're so excited to be able to make these videos and push more out, try much and as many as we can with a baby, which is very challenging if you're a mom. Um, but we love it. So let us know how you, what you think. Do you like them? Do you want to see more or... Not really. That's totally fine. Just let me know in the comments. Go ahead and share. Save this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and have a great rest of your day.